The AFU have once again used drones to attack Russia's rear areas. In the Moscow region, a drone was intercepted over Ramenskoye. At the site where the debris fell, a blast wave blew out the windows of a residential building. For the first time, the territory of the Volgograd region came under attack. Air defense systems shot down an enemy drone in the immediate vicinity of a military unit in the Gorodyshchensky district. Two more drones were intercepted by Russian anti-aircraft gunners in the vicinity of Rostov. The wreckage of one of them fell in close proximity to the headquarters of the South Military District, damaging several buildings and injuring one person. Civilian objects in Bryansk were also subjected to a massive attack. Two aircraft were shot down by air defense systems on the approach to the city, and two more fell near the railroad station. In the Ramivka sector, the AFU launched several unsuccessful attacks north of Novomayorske and Novodonetske. Russian troops repelled all attacks, forcing the enemy to retreat to their original positions. In the Orykiv sector, the AFU continue to storm Russian defensive lines near Robotyne. At the moment, the village itself is in a gray zone. Due to extensive damage, it is not possible to hold positions there. To the east, the AFU commanders have been sending assault units non-stop to consolidate their strongholds near Verbov. Russian troops are firing concentrated fire at the enemy, preventing them from making a significant change in the situation. The AFU struck five drones at Enerhodar. Russian air defenses intercepted most of the devices, but one of the drones crashed into a residential building. In the Kherson direction, the AFU reconnaissance groups landed a landing force on the north of Pereyaslav Island. Thanks to the work of the reconnaissance, the enemy's advance was known beforehand, so the attempted landing was foiled.